money doesn't bring happiness, but it sure helps. And not having it brings a lot of stress and a it, lot of pressure. It does indeed. And it's rough on marriages, very rough on marriages. And so, do you the, think people? I, I want to interrupt. You. Excuse me for interrupting. No, of course. But people have to get out of this mentality that that having money is a bad thing, right? That is it's, so I, important. Can, can we take a moment on that? That's why I interrupted you. It's so important. That is so very, very important. Look, something amazing happened in May 1953, right, where a, uh, a, a man called Sir Edmund Hillary, along with Sherpa Tenzing Norgay, got to the top of Mount Everest. It was amazing. Nobody had ever done that before in human history. How many people went up this last summer? There's snicker bar wrappers all over the mountain. There's a, there's a garbage problem on the mountain. It's, I'm not saying that, that I could do it, although you probably could. But, I mean, people can, can get up Everest. It's just not that impossible to do. Yeah. So the question is, why didn't anyone do it before May 1953? Because... Nobody believed that it could be done. But once you know that something can be done, everything changes. If you don't believe that making money is an honorable, worthy occupation that God smiles at, not because if you've got it you can then do good things and give it to important ministries, that's separate. Charity is a totally separate obligation. And we'll come to this, but actually that the making of money is something that causes God to smile. If you have a problem with that, you will be poor all your life. Because if you don't believe that you're doing something worthy, you will never throw yourself this into is, it fully. This is a nugget of truth. Right. It's very important. Let's differ. I just want to be clear. There is an evil connected with money. Oh, it's, absolutely. It's, it's, the, it's the love the, of money. The love of money and the idolatry of money, absolutely. not making money. The, because, and we'll come to that in a moment, because the making of money is the service of other people. Very good. Next point. thing is uh, increase your connectedness. Start meeting new people. Uh, one of the most important correlations between financially successful people and those who struggle is the number of people you know. Get out there. You're not a people person. Just fix that up and become a people person. Do whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes. And, and you'll discover something nice. People are loads of fun. You know why? Because it's a way of getting in touch with the Creator. He, you're getting in touch with His creations. You're getting in touch with other human beings. It's wonderful. Just increase the number of people. And number three, start recognizing that the most important thing about making money is finding a way let me put it this way. Here's the worst advice people ever give at, to graduation classes at school. Worst advice. Find something you're really passionate about and do it. Well, I've got news for you. I'm passionate about boating. I'm still waiting for somebody to pay me to go boating. It doesn't work like that. Nobody cares about you. Stop being selfish. Focus not on what you want to do. Focus on what other people need you to do. Very and good. then learn to become passionate about that. So talk about biblical charity. Everybody does have to give. Uh, we don't tell you who you have to give to. But everyone has to give. And here's the, the thing that I think is corroding the heart of people in the United States of America, um, where this dreadful idea has cropped up that if you 
have a certain level of income, you don't have to pay taxes which translates from there into people thinking, I don't have to give charity, I'm poor. Well, in scripture, the term poor or rich do not really have meaning outside of a very narrow, defined area of somebody who literally doesn't know where his next meal is coming from or where he's going to lay his head. But in America, 30% of the population is classified as being poor. I believe that that's a terribly unhealthy and bad thing because those people, by being classified as poor, think that they are exempt from the mitzvah, from the commandment of giving charity. No. Mm -hmm. you, it, there's nobody who cannot find somebody who has less than